guys, today is all about my favorite fall time lipsticks. I really like to wear dark lipsticks in the fall time, but I also like to wear a few nudes. So I'm going to show you a bunch of different colors and hopefully I'll get a few ideas for what colors you like. So I actually have 10 lipsticks to show you and I know my lips are going to be really chapped by the end of this, but I am so excited to show you all my favorite colors and I hope you'll enjoy this video. Don't forget to like this video at the end and leave a comment. So I just find this a great everyday lipstick. I think the color is really natural and subtle, um, but it also incorporates fall colors. It has the subtle hints of orange or peach and a brown undertone and I just think it's so gorgeous. It's very velvety and soft. I feel like you can wear this on your lips all day long and you're not going to feel like your lips are getting chapped. So the next nude that I want to show you definitely has more of a reddish undertone to it. It is slightly brown as well, but compared to the other one, this one has shimmer in it. But once you put it on your lips, the shimmer is not noticeable. It just makes him look very glossy as you can see. Here's a swatch of it for you right there. So as you can see, it definitely is a lot more red based than this other nude. And I like this a lot. It's definitely a darker nude. So here is the next color that I'm going to show you, and as you can see, it's a true brown color. kind of reminds me of chocolate, and I know chocolate colored lips were very in less fall. And I think, again, this fall, this color will look so pretty. It's Maybelline, and it's one of their Hydra Time lipsticks, so again, it's very moisturizing, which is nice, because when you're wearing gothy colors, you don't want your lips to get chapped, and this color is bright. So the next lipstick that I want to show you is this bright orange color. It kind of has a coral undertone to it and I feel like even though some people might find this a summer color, the oranges are perfect for fall. They just remind me of pumpkin and leaves and everything like that and I just think it's really different and unique and it's kind of going to spice things up when everything's really dark and gloomy outside. So yeah, I really love this color. Here is a swatch of it for you right there. As you can see, it's pretty bright. Again, this is a very creamy, moisturizing lipstick. Jessica got this for me in our swap and I love it so much. It definitely is an amazing red color, especially on my skin tone. I know it's really hard to find the perfect red, but I feel like this one goes on really, really nice. And I like how it's slightly more of a darker red. It's just kind of a little bit more edgy. So this color is Red Passion in 305. And here is a swatch of it for you. As you can see, it definitely is on the darker side. I would say almost a cherry red. Yeah, it's not too light. So while that last red lipstick was more of a fuchsia or a pink cherry based lipstick, this one is again a brown based lipstick. It's definitely on the darker side. It's called Wine With Everything and it's by Revlon. And I really like the Revlon lipsticks. I just think they're really nice. This one is one of the super lustrous lipsticks. So it is supposed to appear a little bit shiny and very eye-catching. So here is this red. So as you can see next to that other red, it definitely looks a lot darker. More of a burgundy or a Merlot color. So here is a medium tone purple. I really like it because it is so vibrant and noticeable. 
a lot of these colors are very noticeable as you can tell but I just think this again some people might think purple is a summertime color but I think this really is more appropriate for the fall when you want to wear darker lip colors and again it's very eye-catching and it's gonna kind of spice up your wardrobe when you're wearing a lot of dark colors and it just looks really gray and overcast outside it's gonna bring some I don't know happiness and excitement to your life because it's a bright color and it's just very 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 noticeable I don't know how many times I can say that but yeah it is very noticeable but I don't think you should shy away from it I think purple is a fun color to wear and it's also very high fashion so here it is it's right there and the color is called Berry Haute by Revlon and it is a cream lipstick So I want to show you another purple. This time it's darker. It's more of a plum undertone and it has some blue shimmer in it even though once you again put it on your lips you really can't see the shimmer that much. It looks like this and the name is called Madison Mauve. So it's by Maybelline. I don't feel like this is the most creamy lipstick and I don't know if it's because of the dark pigmentation but I again do really like it. So there it is next to the other purple. As you can see, it definitely is more of a true purple compared to the other one. This one looks a little bit more pink than this one does, but it's a very nice color and I just think it's so gorgeous. And I think, especially if you have a darker skin tone, this would look amazing on you. So when I tend to reach for a darker lipstick, I normally go for this one. It's a burgundy color and it has a purple undertone to it. It's just so gorgeous and creamy. Alright, thankfully this is the last lipstick because it is starting to go all over the place. But this is definitely the darkest out of all of them. And it's kind of a black based brownish red. It's kind of a hard color to describe. But it's called Black Cherry by Revlon. This is another cream lipstick. And again, it's very dark and vampy, and I feel like a lot of people would be scared to wear it, but I think it's very appropriate for around Halloween time. And I just think it's a very fun, kind of high fashion color, and I think if you have the confidence to pull it off, then wear it. Especially at nighttime, you know, when you go out to clubs or if you go out to bars during Halloween time, I think it would be really fun to wear. And this is a swatch of it. So as you can see, it definitely is quite dark. I hope you enjoyed this. Even though some of the colors are out there and kind of scary, I hope you got a few ideas for colors that you are really interested in. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Sorry it got a little bit messy at the end, but the lipstick was sticking to me and not coming off. And it got all over my hands and kind of stained stained the outside of my mouth but yeah <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video and please click the like button and subscribe love y'all and i'll see you later bye